Good morning guys, so this is Nico. So today, uh, we're going to have a quick review of the US M113 ACAV or Armored Cavalry Assault Vehicle. Alright, so this would be our last uh, Tamiya review of the year before the year ends. So, uh, ilang oras na lang, 2022 na. So, gagawa tayo ng uh, unboxing itong uh, great kit of uh, US uh, M113 so this was a armored personnel carrier uh, that was in service uh, during the Vietnam War and it's still service today and it was uh, currently in service with the Philippine Army so we have this alright so this is a great uh, kit so as so you can see a nice uh, box art with uh, I think this is the Vietnam War version of the APC or the 113 so I just purchased it on the JMN Hobby uh, for about 898 pesos as you can see so this kit was released in 1987 I think this is a rebox so you can see the uh, uh, for view so this is uh, the rear side and up so this is a camouflage version I don't think I think what's I think this is a Vietnam as well and here are some accessories and this is also a this one in the Vietnam uh, era there you go and we have some uh, accessories as well we got the 50 cal heavy machine gun M2 M16A1 AK Amazon rifle or Aptomat Kalashnikov Moderna and M16 machine gun and RPG-7 which is rocket propelled grenade and folding cock as you can see. Ito natin. Alright, so let's open up the box and see what's inside. Okay, so I like the packaging. It's nice. Alright. Okay. Alright, so what we got here is a Tamiya Tech Tips. There you go. Tamiya Tech Tips again. So we also got a rubberized track. So I don't like these tracks. Sis. I hate this. This is a old version of the tracks. There you go. So we have the manual. So the this is the manual here, the instruction sheet. There you go. So this is I'm going to read the history. Early in the Vietnam conflict, the M113 APC was often used in a light tank role, but the initial combat loss, losses led to a number of modifications to make more suitable for these type of operations. A combination gun shield couple was added over the commander's hatch to provide some protection when firing the 50 caliber machine gun. Near the rear cargo hatch mounts and shields provided for, for two M60 machine guns with these modifications. The vehicle tagged the M113 AC with designation den denoting armored, armored cavalry assault vehicle. The ARVN or Army Republic of Vietnam cavalry units demonstrated early in the conflict against a particular type of enemy and ter terrain. The M113 has fielded modified it could be operated like, uh, in a tank-like manner. This concept met with considerable resistance by those who were supplying the vehicles even the first U.S. combat units were engaged in 1965. Beginning in 1967, the M113 ACS with gasoline engine in the field were brought back for the depot units for the conversion of the M113A1 versions with, which were powered by diesel engines. By July 1968, virtually the entire fleet ACS improved A1 configuration. By 1969, barely accelerated adversarily Affected amphibious capabilities, styrofoam, flotation kits were added. Throughout the conflict, the M113 AP sits versatile family enormously effective. Alright? So, uh, pakita natin yung mga kits. Alright? Okay? So currently, uh, we have the. 
we have at least uh, four screws. We got this, uh, the white uh, screw or the gray one. So this is for the interior. Luckily, we have the interior for the M113. So we got also the decals, the Vietnam decals of Coke Marlboro and something like that. It's nice. Alright. We got also the frontal part here for the rear part and sides, side skirts, and some uh, on the back of road wheels and the M60 machine gun and engine here. And this is the upper part for the M113. So this kit was uh, this uh, sprue that's looked a bit. Let's release. 1974 so it's quite an old kit so this is much better than the uh, first M113 release okay and this one next uh, screw E we got also the cupola here and some then the crews and the crew the three uh, crew soldier and the commander vehicle and we got the uh, spare wheel as well and M16 and RPG and AKM and the Machine gun M60, and we have the net and a copper like to replicate this one. I'm gonna show you this one, the one in the image, All right? Okay. All right. Okay, so, and finally, we have the. Lower hull. So the lower hull was a very basic, uh, very basic part. So this was in 1974. So it's a 40 year old uh, mold. So very old. So the details was nice. So there are no sink marks. But there's a, a bit of flash that uh, we need to clean up as well and the interiors. So this will be put the interiors as well and uh, this one the gray part all right so that's very nice so and this is the door it's very smooth so we have to fill this up so that's the downside of the old molds of the knee so we need to fill some uh, holes as well all right so that's for it today and thank you for more videos and see you next year and happy new year and again my name is Nix and enjoy the rest of your day thank you so much and and one more thing uh, stay tuned for Willis Egypt and SGL type 1 porch coming uh, this January all right uh, have a nice day